When you go for an ultrasound scan during a pregnancy, one of the things that you'll receive is an estimate of the weight of the fetus. And you might be wondering how accurate are these estimates? Well, 95% of the time they're within a 15 to 18 percent range of the actual weight so just to put it in some easy real terms if the prediction is that the baby is going to be eight pounds it would be reasonable to expect them to be anywhere from just under seven pounds to just over nine pounds so usually somewhere around a pound either way or in metric about half a kilogram either way and you might be wondering, how do they estimate the fetal weight? Well, basically, they will freeze on a still image of the fetus, and then they'll use a mouse to click around on various points of the body to measure the fetus in several different ways. There are different methods, but typically it will be a measure of the head, usually the head circumference or a diameter, around the abdomen and also the thigh bone, the femur length. These measurements will then be put into a formula and there are several different formulas that are used and then this will pop out a number. And why do they estimate fetal weight? The fetal weight is estimated to give an indication of the health of the developing fetus and the risk of birth complications. Health professionals are looking to see if the fetus is above the 90th percentile or below the 10th percentile for its gestational age. IUGR, intrauterine growth restriction, means that the fetal weight falls under the 10th percentile of the fetus's gestational age. This is the biggest concern as this will greatly increase the risk of stillbirth as well as short and long term neurodevelopmental disorders. LGA, large for gestational age, means that the fetal weight is above the 90th percentile of the fetus's gestational age. The concern for large fetuses is that delivery may be complicated and the fetus won't be able to easily pass through the vagina. This means that it may be necessary to have a cesarean birth and there is a risk that the baby's anterior shoulder can become injured during a vaginal delivery. There are several different reasons why a fetus could be in either one of those two categories. So if you do happen to be in this unfortunate situation, it will require you working with your healthcare provider to determine the cause so that you can decide upon an effective treatment with them. Thank you for watching the video and if you're a dad or a dad be, please head over to dadadvicedaily.com. We have lots of articles about a very wide range of topics. See you in the next video.